All right, guys. So I did a video covering the nine ball run out and what I like to do with the nine ball run out and how to get around. But now people have the same question about eight ball and how to approach that. And so in this case, we're gonna take a look at this rack, imagining your opponent broke, left you this wide open table and you have ball in hand. Let's get this video started. All right, guys. So what I like to think about first, and this goes against what a lot of beginners think Okay, but usually early in the process of analyzing a table, I like to locate where the eight ball is. And not only locate it, see how, what shots are the easiest to get to that eight ball. Okay, so for example, this table is pretty open. The only trouble balls are really this, okay? But I could take the, the five and I could, I could make the five on the side from here. But then, if I run out the table, what do I have to get me on the eight ball? I mean, Really the best shot would be maybe like the six ball, right? But to get good shape, I need to be like right here so I can come down, yeah, it's just so much, okay? I could start here, roll a four, take these two, but then what am I left? I can go around the table, try to get shape on the six and then play these two. But even if I did, and I leave myself in the seven and the two as the last balls, now I got a tough shot shooting up the table for the eight. Where, as is in stripes, okay, if I let my last ball, let's say, be this one, if I just did a stop shot right there, I got just about a straight in shot on that eight ball, okay? If, so pretty much anywhere in this vicinity, I'm gonna have a straight in shot on that, that eight ball. Even if I come too far here, I can thin this 14 ball, come out over here, because things happen. Sometimes not everything happens exactly as planned, right? But I also have the 15 ball. If I somehow my shape goes off, I can get to the 15 ball. Even if I got to here, I could draw this out and come over here. Again, you gotta remember, this is the last ball we're talking about, so these stripes are gone, right? But anywhere in here, I could play a nice, reasonable 15, easy shot, and make it and have the eight ball come over here. So, now that I've identified the eight ball and I've identified several last ball options, now what you do is you actually work backwards. You gotta work backwards, you gotta give yourself a plan on how to get to that ball so that's your last shot now 14 ball i think probably the easiest options are going to be these two up here because if i stop here and i stop this shot here i still have a straight in shot on the 14. if i let this one be the one before the 14 and i stop it where it is i still have a pretty decent shot on the 14 where i can either try to um try to stun it and let it stop here like that it takes a lot of control or I can even hit it harder and let it slide across for the other side. So I think these are my best options to get to here. Now, and uh, just from my experience, I like getting to this ball to get to this ball because it's just hard to get to this ball because these balls are blocking this direction. So getting to here to get to here to get to there, I think is the best. So this would be the second, the last, second to last, third to last, now piecing it backwards. I'm gonna go quickly, but understand again, you have to have this plan. And this plan, I'm, I'm really explaining what I'm, my plan is right now, but know that this just needs to happen in a couple seconds. You need to identify and be able to read the table and pick your pattern before you even take this shot. So, so important. And you'll get better as you do that. And as long as you start having a clear, concise pattern, your game will improve, okay? So, this is the ball I need to get shape on. I think from there, I think something like along the lines of being over here on the 15, going to the rail, coming out, shooting that. Getting to the 15, I think it's easy from the 12. Getting to the 12, I think it's easy getting from the 11. And getting to the 11, I think it's easy from getting to the 10. And I, I think I, you saw I just worked all of my way backwards. And you know, there, there, there's a tougher way. You can go 11 first, 12, 15, 13, nine, 14. But if you don't get perfect on this 10 ball, then it ruins your entire pattern. But if you come down here, or if you roll too far, or your cue ball comes all the way across and it comes straight across like this on the 14. So you wanna pick the, the, the path that's gonna give you the most room for error. And I think this is the right path. Okay, so I'm gonna be in line here. And we're gonna try to execute the run out here. Okay. Now, one of the things in my nine ball video that hopefully you've seen, if not, I'll leave a uh, link in the description, is that when you shoot patterns, you always think three balls ahead. And we're not gonna do anything different here. We're gonna do the exact same thing, three balls. I'm shooting this 10 to shoot the 11 to get shape on the 12, 
okay? So I think if I just stopped it here, it's good, because then I can just stop it or drag the cue ball a little bit this way for the, the 12. Even if it stopped there, I think I'll be okay. Because it'll just give me, yeah, it still gives me the correct angle. I can just stun it out, come this way, and back for the 15. So, first things first, before we worry about the 15, let's get these balls in. I'm, uh, yeah, I'm just gonna give myself a slight angle so the cue ball just drifts a little bit. I don't need it to go very far. All right. See, I don't need it to go very far. The table's not too bad. All right. Straight in is here, okay? So I could still hit it straight and it'll stop. I just want to hit a little bit, a millimeter off to this side so that when it draws, it draws this way and not directly back at me. I hope you see, I see the, 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 what could go wrong really quickly if you just draw it straight back, right? The shot gets dramatically different, just even inch by inch. Inch, you're good. Two inches, uh, three inches, five inches, and it's like you're shooting the, in, the, the wrong shot. So I wanted to drag this way so that this way I have all of this space to be wrong. And that will give me the line. Okay, this is my shot line on the 12. I just need to make sure I'm over here so that when I shoot the 12, I can go over for my shot on the 15 because I want to be on this side of the 15. Okay, and you'll see why in a second. Let's shoot this 11 ball first. Little bit of bottom. Perfect. You see, see it came out, right? If it went that distance straight back, oh, I, I have no shot on the 12. It'd be very difficult. But here's my shot line on the 12 ball. I'm on this side, so I'm in the clear. Okay, so now this one, I need to get shape on the 15 to get shape on my 13. And here's the shot line of the 15. Okay, I don't want to be on this side. So I don't want to come off the 15 and come this direction. I don't want to run into anything over here on accident. So I want to be on this side so I can play to that rail and come out this way to the 13. And I have that. So all I need to do is just make sure I just draw it back. I just need to make sure I'm anywhere over here. Okay. I have a great angle to do that. Don't need to baby this ball into the pocket. I just need to hit this with a good firm speed. Just a little bit of bottom so it doesn't go forward. Okay, as you see, my shot line is here. And I'm clearly over here. Next shot. The only thing I don't want from this shot here is to be on the rail because then my cue ball is going to come this way towards the nine. If I'm anywhere here, I have a great shot on the 13. If I start coming out on this line, that's no good because my cue ball is still going to come off the rail to the nine. So I just need to make sure I focus here and get this cue ball anywhere in this kind of vicinity here. Okay, I have a great angle to do this. I can kind of roll this with left hand English. So when it hits the rail, it spins a little bit backwards towards me. Okay. I'm not going to go extreme top. I'm just going to go just a rolling cue ball, I think, does the trick here. Here we go, off the rail, okay, I'm off the rail a little bit, that's good. And if I was frozen to the rail, this would be, my cue ball would be drifting this way. It's going to drift a little bit that way, but that's okay. It's not going to drift very much, okay? My goal here is just to kind of drag the cue ball back a little bit, so then I'm, here's my shot on the line. I want to be back here just a little bit so I can take the shot and roll my cue ball let it come one rail straight out, or if I, if I need to, I can play one, two, to help avoid the scratch. This is a really critical moment, so I'm gonna take, take my time on this a lot to make sure I'm focused on not overstroking this. This is really easy to overstroke. Okay. Okay. I didn't quite draw it back as much as I wanted to, but you guys noticed that even though I didn't get quite perfect, and that's the thing about pool, it's not always going to be perfect. You're not going to get perfect every single time. But you'll notice I have 
the option. I can even just stop it here. I didn't want to be this close to the rail. I don't like that, that idea, but I could still even just stop it from where it is and play the shot on the 14. It's a little bit tougher than I'd like. So I'm gonna play a little bit of a quote unquote fancier shot. Okay. And I'm just gonna draw this ball straight back at me. I just wanna to try to come back and try to get a little bit closer to the 14 so I don't have such a dramatic angle and I don't have all that distance. Okay, I'm gonna take my time here again. This is really important. On your last few balls, you should take all the time in the world to shoot them because they're the most important ones. They're the ones that count, okay? Let's use an open bridge here. Now just a little bit, just a little bit closer. Okay. And you notice, even though I didn't play this one the way I wanted to, it still allowed me to get out because I played the higher percentage run out. I didn't try to get to a place where I need to be perfect. As you saw, I just said pretty much anywhere in this triangle and I can still get out. And I, I, I did. So here we go, 14 ball. I have, I have an angle, but not a lot, just enough I can just stun it and the cue ball should sit anywhere in here. If it was a little bit more steep, I'd consider coming across, but I don't think I need to from here. All right, again, it's the last couple balls of the rack. This is where things really matter. So you wanna take your time even more on these. I didn't get straight on the eight ball, but I got a very, very makeable. I'm sure the shot looks a lot steeper on the camera. A very, very makeable shot for the eight ball. And that is the run out, okay? I hope this video was helpful for you. If it was, please make sure you smash that like button and hit the little subscribe, subscribe and notification bell so you are alerted when I post a new video. All right guys, and I'll see you next video.